Hello everybody, welcome back to Minecraft on the Block. This is the not Technic Pack 6 tutorial series. I still don't have a name for it. Um, this is gonna be a uh, this is gonna be a custom mod pack let's play with many of the same mods that are in the Technic Pack. Um, I have the base Direwolf 20 uh, mod pack plus Mo Creatures and some tweaks to um, configuration and some other stuff, and you can watch my first video and um, Hopefully I'll have a blog post or something about it or a forum post. I'm not really sure. I'm going to start maintaining my own and I figured his, you know, he's done a lot of work and done a great job. So I figured it was as good a place to start as any. So, um, without further ado, we're going to get to it today. So we've done a little bit of work. We were working on Thaumcraft last time. Um, haven't done anything additional. And what I realized was right when I was starting to want to go and, and, uh, and, get ready for the next stage i keep using a portal gun to go back and forth and back and forth and so i figured out that the next thing that probably makes the most sense is for us to create an automatic um portal system between the two houses um well yeah a couple of things so let me let me just kind of show you what we're talking about so um we'll use our portal to get over there so for you guys that aren't familiar with it the portal gun is is really cool so you can just put a orange portal in one place and a blue portal somewhere else and now if we go look at our orange portal, you can see that we can look out and basically see the house. In fact, if we, well, it doesn't look like the chunks have loaded from over there. You can see they're actually still loading. We're going to be right there, somewhere right in that area. Yeah, there we go. See, there's the the glass. You can see, it's funny because chunks from over there haven't loaded yet. So we're standing right down here somewhere on that wall. And we pop out, and now we're over here. Anyway, so most of you have seen that and you know what it's about, but what we're going to do now is a couple of things. One, I'm going to start with the, the short, the easy way, um, which is that we are going to make a portal, what is it, a portal frame or something like that? Portal spawner is what it's called. So we need an ender pearl, diamonds, and iron. We can handle all that. Let's make sure that we've taught our transmutation table ender pearls. That's going to be very important. And we'll need to teach it on the other side as well. No, nope, we hadn't yet. And they are worth 1,024. That's really good. Um, half a piece of gold. So one piece of gold will get you a couple of those. Uh, and we needed a two diamonds, which we... I still... I mean, I had a, I did a lot of, of mining early on, though, to get to the place I'm at. So uh, iron. Let's see. What's the iron situation? Do I just not have any more iron cooked up? I guess I should get some iron macerating. We're going to be getting low on iron. We have a, almost as few iron as we do diamonds. Let's throw this in here. So this is the uh, what we worked on last time, overclockers. Helped to speed up this process a lot. And then we can take those and put them in our crazy induction furnace and we get iron in a heartbeat. So anyway, we'll let that thing go to town. Let's see what we're Power level's at 130, and that's, you know, it's decent. We're, we're doing all right. We'll probably not mess with it for short term. So anyway, this should be something like this, right? There we go. Portal spawner. Okay. So this is very cool. Now, I'm not exactly sure. I've been thinking about this, how I'm going to deal with portal spawner type stuff. Because I this is not, it's not like this building is my main base. Um... I'm going to have a lot of other buildings around here, and frankly, my house is going to be the main area. What I kind of want to do is put up like a a portal spawner area. Um, either that or like set it up right on the outside of my house right here. That might, that might not be a bad place, right on the outside of the workshop. Well, let's do that short term. So I'm going to put that there. Uh, do portals close when redstone power is cut? Yes. And we want to make this a blue, I believe. So there we go. So now, if we were to... Well, this will be interesting. I'll show you this. A button is not the best way to do this, but it will prove the point, which is if we put a button here, on and off, right? So as long as the button lasts, it's on. Right? So really what we're looking at is we need a redstone signal. Now, we could just put a lever there or something, and we could turn it on, and we could leave it on, and then we could go around, and we could use the orange... Um, portal all over the place so if we put an orange one right there and then we put this lever back or this button back when I open it you can see that they're both open right so we could just have a way for it to be permanently on or something like that but that's not really what we want what we want is to be able to turn it on whenever we decide that we want to turn it on so what we're going to do is use wireless redstone and this version of wireless redstone is the uh, 
I can't remember it's the NEI guy version. It's the whatever version. I, I, I should know that, but um, we're going to make a wireless receiver and a wireless remote. We're also going to do a wireless transmitter so that we can have specific portals. You can hear my dog barking in the background. <laughs> I apologize. We're going to have uh, specific portals between two distinct places. Like, like we might have a portal between the tower and the main complex, or we might have a portal between um, our our quarry in the main complex, right? Or whatever, right? And those will be different. Those will be um, specific and and predetermined. And we'll we'll get into that. Let me go get this slime. I'm all into getting Thaumcraft objects of wonder now. And you're supposedly you get some chance of getting them from slime, but I haven't actually had that happen yet. Um, in fact, I haven't got anything useful from slime since I spawned in this world. So <laughs> it's making me wondering if something's wrong. Anyway, um, what I was going to say, yeah, so anyway, we're going to start with one that we can just turn on from anywhere. And it will always get us back here. It doesn't help us going the other direction yet, but that's okay. So anyway, wireless uh, receiver is the first thing we're going to need. So we need all of this stuff. So an obsidian stick, receiver dish. A receiver dish takes a stone bowl, which is pretty standard. Um, a receiver stick is an... Oh, that's interesting. Wow. Okay, so we're going to have to transmute some stuff. We're going to spend some money on this wireless receiver. Wow, they're not cheap anymore. I guess they were... I'm trying to remember. I don't remember how cheap they were before. Is that a Pegasus? Or just sheep? It's just sheep. I'm waiting for a Pegasus to show up. That's why I'm carrying the saddle and the, uh, and the apple around all the time. Okay. So, let's do this. We are going to need, let's see, we need one of those aether things, so that's going to need an, an extra ender pearl, which we have, we have one, but I want to keep one on hand. So I'm going to take a piece of gold, and what we can do is we can put that on, you guys have seen this already, but you can put that on the transmutation table, and it'll have, it's worth 2048. Well, if I take out half of that with an ender pearl, it's going to leave the other 1024, and that'll be there for whenever we need it, which is probably good, because we might need it. So I'm going to need a little additional redstone. I'm almost out of that completely. And the glowstone, yeah, we've been keeping that in here. I'm also going to need a few pieces of obsidian, at least two, to make the sticks. And did I leave the... Uh, good. Yeah, so my diamond handsaw finally got repaired. It took a while. That's been nerfed a little bit, too. All right, I need two pieces of obsidian so I can make an obsidian stick. And the redstone. So I think that we should be able to do... I'm going to wing it because I don't really remember... Something like this. Or was it the other way? No, that was it. We got lucky. So that's the Reether Pearl. We'll take that. We'll take an obsidian stick, which is like that. It's an expensive stick. This is an expensive little thing, this wireless transceiver. I guess it should be. Okay, so we got that. Now we need the receiver dish, which we just need a stone bowl, so we can do that. Okay, got a bowl. And we got this, and now we've got a receiver dish. That's awesome. First step down. I'm going to go ahead and sleep because I'm just paranoid. I haven't had any issues with ogres, which is completely strange for me, for any of you guys that know. All right, that have been watching, I guess. Um, oh, wait. I can't teach my table that. Oh, that'd be awesome. All right. Um, next up is another obsidian stick. And we need some of those stone wafers. So let's go ahead and... Yeah, wow, that's quick. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put our redstone in there. We just put stone in there and we get we get our stone wafers, which we use for various things. Whoops. Uh, next is another obsidian stick, which I think I'll just grab obsidian off of here. Still got plenty left there. So make one more obsidian stick. And we have one stone wafer we need two stone wires, and these should be easy. That's just a piece of redstone and a piece of wafer. There we go. All right, now we should have everything we need. So we have a wafer, the wire, the obsidian, and the receiver dish. And that's a wireless receiver. Now that thing is cool. And the really cool thing is that, man, I cannot believe that I can't remember his name. The NEI guy, which I should totally know, um, he has done this very much like Red Power, which everything should be done like Red Power as far as the panels being able to cover stuff. Brilliant. It's just totally brilliant. So that's that's what that's about. Um, now we need a wireless remote, which means we need one more of those transceivers. And, 
a button, which we just happen to have because we were wasting. I didn't even know that. I totally didn't plan that, but that was super smart of me. All right, so we need one, two, and we need one more Ender Pearl, which I happen to have one more up here. I'm just going to go ahead and use it for now. And we uh, see. I, I just hate having to chase him down, and if something happens to my, I just I want to. I'm going to spend my gold. I know it's crazy. Uh, could iron? How many pieces of iron does it take? Well, one piece will get us. Nope. Two pieces will get us there. There we go. I'm just going to go ahead and do this because I just don't want to mess with it. Okay. So now, again, something like this. Man, I'm telling you, that stinking turtle is driving me nuts. There we go. There we go. Oops. Transceiver. And a button. And we have our wireless remote. Now, this is just so well done. I'm, I'm super excited about the way that this works even better than it did before. Okay. Stay in there, Stanley. I can't handle you. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bury this um, receiver right here. And I think hmm, like that. Okay. So let's see. And see how it's got a little animation. That's pretty sweet. I love that thing. Okay. So we can click on it. We can tell it we want this to be frequency one. Okay. And then we can go to advanced and we can actually give it a name. And that frequency is going to be home um let's see home portal home portal okay um i think that's good i don't know what the value thing is anyway set name so this is the home portal and then we can go back to simple or whatever so we're good okay now if we let's see how does this work how do I set this thing? You know, click and hold. How do I do this? Middle click? I can't remember how to get the wireless transceiver. Let's see, G or V or T. How do I use this thing? <laughs> Is the question. I know how to use it, but how do I set it to a to a frequency? Whoops, you don't throw it. That's not that's definitely not how you do it. I can't believe. Shift click? Yeah, shift, right click. Okay. So then we can set this. We want to have it on frequency one for now. So we'll just say we want to have it on our home portal, right? And now when we right click and hold, it sends a red sun signal. And you can see that it's down there. Now I put that in the wrong place. So let's take it off and replace it. Do you just place it like that? I don't think so. Whoops. Yeah, see, it's sending the signal, but it's not working. I can't remember. Maybe what I have to do is something like this. Oh yeah, I hadn't reset it yet. Man, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> it's like it's like I've never done redstone work before. Let's see. Can I place it like like that? Oh now I gotta reset it again. One. And it remembers the definition there, right? So that is not working. Let's try this. Just to verify that what we're doing is actually correct. I actually wouldn't even mind leaving it on the side of the house like that, to be completely honest with you. That's kinda cool because it's so cool looking. But Oh, is it because of the output or something? I need a screwdriver for that thing. Yeah, let me go make a screwdriver real quick and I'll be back. I think that's what it is. Okay, right, sorry about that. That was silly. I'm still getting used to this. But yeah, you turn it with the screwdriver to the correct orientation and it works. Now, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool enough. In fact, if I was going to do that, I think I would put it... Let's see. I think I would put it right here. Like that. Yeah, half of me kind of just wants to leave it there because that's that's cool. <laughs> I just really like, I think it's cool looking to have a satellite on the side of your house. I mean, how more technic can you get? In fact, I think I'm going to leave it. I think it's cool for now. We could totally hide it, but we're going to just leave it. So anyway, you hold it down and you got a portal, right? So now we could put our orange portal down. 
right click and hold and just go through it. And as soon as we let go, it goes away, right? So we don't have to worry about it staying open and causing us lag. So it's right click and hold. And that new wireless transceiver is fantastic. Or yeah, wireless remote system. Okay, anyway, that's, that's short term solution, right? So we've closed that gate. Yeah, so we can always get our gate back. Okay, yeah, I really like that. All right, now, the I'm not going to do it right now, although it might be worth doing, but what I was going to say is um, we have a couple of options. We could just put another permanent gate over there, set it to whatever, and you know make another one, make it something else portal, and we could just activate it with the... Uh, with this system but what we really want to do is we want to have wireless uh, receivers and wireless transmitters right let's see which is this which is very similar except for easier it's got just this uh just the 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 wireless transceiver um piece of it and a sitting pole so we could make one of these anyway we would need two 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 of each and what I would do, um, Direwolf makes very like distinct gates between all of them. I think what I could do is reuse this one, right? So I could have this one for whenever I wanted to have it come on, and then I could also use it for the for there to hear travel, right? So I could make that wireless two. This could it could have a wireless transceiver, so I could always just get straight over there. But I could also have um, a a button in front of it that we step on a pressure plate that would allow us to come directly here. Um, which I think is probably what I would do. So all all the buttons would send us kind of this central place. So maybe I'll do that. Let me uh, let me do real quickly reconstruct uh, what I need here. I'm going to make a, a two more of actually one more of these, and two of the. Is that right? I'm trying to think. Yeah, the difference is that if you wanted it to be from here to there. Huh. I'll have to think about that. The reason he has dedicated gates is so that you can just like walk in it and it would just automatically open up, you know, specifically to that. You could do it from there to here with with number 1 and just reuse the same gate, but going the other direction you need a dedicated gate. So let me just do a a little bit of quick thinking about that and I'll be right back. All right guys, I'm back. I think I have everything I need to get this show on the road. So here's what I'm going to do. This is going to be I'm not sure which side I want to put it on. I'm pretty sure this side. So this, so do portals close when redstone power is cut? Yes. Okay, so this is where it's going to be a little different. I'm going to do, I just realized I am going to have to do a blue and orange. So this is going to be an orange gate. And just as a temporary measure, this is not going to be the way it works forever. But this one is going to be wireless receiver two, right? So I'm going to put this up here. And I'm actually going to turn it just because I think it will work there. I don't know for sure. I want it like that. Let's see. And if that's number two, so this is going to be frequency two. And this is going to be tower portal set the name and then if we go shift click and we can just double click on that and we go like that it's totally not going to work because it doesn't work like that <laughs> so this one well let's see I guess this one will do the old fashioned way does it work if we put it here? Where's it at? Have you ever seen anybody have this much trouble with, <laughs> with this stuff? Okay, so let's see. What if you go like that? Make it number two. There we go. So that will work. And then we can just go... I think we can cover this. I hope. hope I'm right about that. What did I just do? I guess that goes there. Got a couple of covers, even if I don't want them. And give me my saw back. I'm always dumping that saw off. I just don't have any spots for it, which is unfortunate. Let's 
go put some junk down because I don't want to lose it. I'm going to make a crystal chest for over here too because I think that'll be really cool. Put some of this stuff away. I got I also have to get an alchemical bag. It's something that I just have not done yet, and that's crucial. All right, so let's see. It doesn't... Oh, it's not going to work like that. What about this? If we do the same thing, but we lay it down and it feeds the block underneath it, that should work, shouldn't it? If we put it there, go like that, set it to 2, it does not work. Uh, would it actually... Well, let's see. I guess easier. Let's keep let's keep trying. Hopefully you guys appreciate the uh the go get 'em attitude here. Let's see, I think I think this will work. And then I won't even need the covers and then that will all have been for nothing. Alright, let's see. Set it to that. There we go. That works. Okay. So now we don't even need that situation. And what I really need is my block back. Oh, I have two of them though, don't I? Yeah, perfect. Okay. So, and then the, the transmitter will go right here. I think this will work. Let's see. So I'm going to set the wireless transmitter here. And it has to receive a signal. How's this going to work? Let's see. Actually, let's move that back over here. Let's see. I know this has got to be annoying. Let's see. Right there, we put this block here. We make a pressure plate, and we put it here. It does send the signal. So that should work. What did I do? Oh, that's right. That's right. The pressure plate has to be back one because it displaces the portal, which we now have to say is an orange portal. That's still good. This should still be good. That should still be good. And now... Okay, so why is that? occurring. Because it's passing that signal through. Why didn't it work when we had the transmitter down there? Because that's not actually what we want. Or do we? Yeah, we do. So this, we want to transmit on home portal. Yeah, this will work. Yep, there we go. So now, we can, I'm not exactly sure what we just did. <laughs> uh, don't try this at home, I guess, is the moral of that story. So why did I fall through? Now we're Alright guys, we I am wasting a lot of your time. So that's not gonna because we're not transmitting from this one, so it's not gonna send the signal. Let's do this. Let's go back over there. So this works fine. Something about maybe the I don't know, maybe the time. Maybe I need to like have a timer or something, but that's very strange because it obviously let's go ahead and close our portals oh I'll bet because I didn't yeah I didn't have that covered I probably fell down when I went through I just realized that let's try this again now I think yeah now we can actually put a cover now it looks good okay let's see if this works there we go I should get rid of him before he turns into a werewolf if I don't get killed by the spider first There we go. 
just in the nick of time. I've got a skeleton down there, which I'm not going to deal with. Okay, I'm totally wasting your time. Okay, so that works. Let me sleep and get... Ah. Okay, so the way that we have this set up right now is is close. It's close to being right. I'd love to get those. And to do that, I just got to go dump some stuff off. Sorry, this is totally disjointed. I apologize. So for all you people that have said that you just like to watch me play, even when it's ridiculous, this is for you. Um, let's put some sticks away. Okay. Stanley, can you even fit out the door here? Can I put you on my head anymore? Barely. Wow, you're giant. It's a freaking sea turtle now. Okay. So, here's the situation. I need a second one of these if I want to do a similar setup to what I have over there, right? Which is to be able to just put a sign above it that says to the tower and it transmit on transmits on signal two, opens the other one, opens this one, and we're good to go. Right now, this one will always get me home. So I can be out, you know, wherever I want, put down an orange portal, hit my signal, and I'm good to go, right? And for that matter, I can also shift right click. I can put down a blue, right? So I could uh, get rid of these, put down a blue. I could shift right click here, say I want to go to the tower. And I got to remember that it's blue, but I can open that and bam, it takes me to the tower, right? So, so I can get to the tower directly if I want. And I'm going to have to remember which ones are orange and which ones are blue. And this is going to be a little bit interesting. But actually what I could do, I'll bet... We could say tower portal orange. There we go. And set the name. And now we know, right? And then we could do the same thing with this one. We could say home portal blue. That's good. And now we always know which one is which. So anyway, okay. So back and forth. Boom. Cool. Okay. So what yeah what I was going to say is what I'm going to probably end up doing is setting up like a, a little either a room I don't think it's going to be a room I think maybe out here somewhere maybe similar to what I did over there with the uh the blocks just like create like a wall or something or put them maybe over here like I don't know like just line this wall with them or I don't know I'm going to have to think of something clever because I think it it deserves a little bit of thought and it should be cool but I want to be able to have you know, places where I can just say, oh, I want to go to the portal, walk through and go to the portal. And then that same one could just come back here, right? So it could it could come directly. Basically, everything will come to the base. So it'll be from here to the tower and the tower to here. Uh, and if you want to go to a special place, then you can you can put a, just put a, uh, you know, portal on the wall, right click, and you're good to go, right? And then we can go anywhere in the world we want to go. All right. I think that's good. So I have totally taken up the time. The reason I wanted to do that was because I wanted to be able to do this, <laughs> zoom back, get some crystals and all the stuff that we needed for our uh, for our work over there, and at the very least, we should probably get that going. So let's see. I have a couple of these. I'm going to take two of these. Man, alive. I am just full of junk. Let's see what else. I'm going to need some more enchanted wood, which we're going to have to do when we get over there because I need to make those tanks and we need no more of these so I need some glass all right let me do this let me just get everything that I need ready and we'll come back and finish up all right guys I'm back I think I've got everything I need and so we're gonna use our fancy portal gun and hopefully get over there yep there we go all right good deal so we should be able to get yeah, closes them automatically which is nice once this one closes the other one closes so that's good all right um, I think I got everything I need. We're going to need a little viz, um, but what we'll do is we'll start this thing going. So we'll put a couple of crystals in here. We'll put an extra one. You can see that that actually starts up there, and then this thing will get a little bit fainter and smaller maybe, something like that. And viz will slowly start to actually make its way, and I think it'll just come across here and go into the crucible, I, I believe. But it's going to be a relatively slow process, and I think... As it goes longer, it gets better. And I'm not sure if there's actually a way to speed this up. I think there might be, like, things that you can do to speed it up. There's our 30-minute mark, I think. Anyway, so what we need is some more enchanted wood, which oh, I went ahead and made myself an alchemical bag, too, which is good because it was driving me insane. Um, I think, actually, I need two pieces of enchanted wood, which is going to take a little bit of viz. We might just have to dump some more iron in there to make this work in the short term, but we'll put these two up there and then two crystals. 
and you can see that we didn't get much so we're gonna have to dump some iron in there and iron just does not seem to do it as well as I thought it would and that's not what I want to be spending my my viz on but or my iron on so I got one set I need another set so I'm just gonna for this time this is the last time you're gonna see me doing this because this is just too expensive and not quite man alive I don't like it I don't like it one bit there we go more okay and the reason we did that is because we need some viz tanks we're going to I believe go like this I want two of them and I think it's that but apparently I was wrong apparently it is more like this there we go so viz storage let's get two of those there we go. And these are just kind of like regular old oil or li uh, liquid storage tanks. So what we're going to do, I think, hmm, I think I need to move this, but I don't want to lose what's in there. And I don't really know what to do about that. I think you just suck it up at this point. So I'm trying to think exactly how I want to organize this. Because I want to have my storage tank here, and I want to have this inputting to my storage tank. That's really all this is good for. And then the storage tank will output to various devices, and I guess this is as good of a place to put it as any, unless I was to, like, get clever and embed it in this wall and run the storage underneath. I really do want it to look cool. That might be perfect, actually. To do that, I should probably... Let's just see. Let's see how this works. This might might actually be cool. So we'll take the storage tanks, we'll put those right here. And we'll probably need more eventually, but that's okay. And then we're going to run that underground, because I think I can come out of here. So let's see, one, two. Yeah, we should have enough, I think. And I think what we're going to do is go... We'll see, this might be too much work for not a lot of payoff and it's not going to look very good coming up under there. We'll see how it works. And it's not going to look very good coming under here either now that I think about it. Oops. Yeah, because these blocks, unfortunately, don't take up the whole thing. So actually, you know, Viz flowing is cool looking anyway. So now that I think about it, I think what I'm going to do is run these above ground. These hitboxes, make sure you're paying attention because you'll basically hit whatever's behind it most of the time. Sorry, I think I just realized I'm not speaking very well into the mic. This episode, I think, has been a little disjointed and not my best episode, but I apologize. All right, let's let's uh, let's do this. I think I'm going to run it above ground because it's kind of cool to see the viz flow anyway. I've actually noticed that. So what I might do, see if we can get... When you can't hide stuff well, just make it a feature. That's one of the things in software development. If you can't fix it, feature it. Let's see. And I know the frame rate, this is this is <laughs> this is a disastrous episode. My frame rate's horrible. Hopefully that doesn't come across too badly on YouTube. I know it can get annoying. So let's see. Let's go. I can't come out of the top is the only way I, place I can't come out of. In fact, maybe I can. Nope, that's interesting. Who would have thought? I think we lost that crystal. We totally did. That's what you get for being a dummy. So that back there. Oh, but this, we can do this because we're going to change. Yeah, that, that'll that work. So let's see. Crystal back in. We wasted one, but chalk it up to a learning experience. I'm going to get rid of this. Whoa. That was all the taint went into the air, I guess. And then this is going to be a problem. Actually, let's do this. We'll just do it the old-fashioned way. Just like that. 
So now, the interesting thing is going to be how do I get it out of there? We'll have to. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm being too clever by half here. Yeah, because that's a problem. Well, we'll play with it a little bit. Who cares? It's not the end of the world. It's not like we're going to collect it that quickly anyway. So that thing should be collecting viz, sending it up through here, and then eventually we should be depositing it in this tank. I think. I think that's the way this will work. And then this thing, that's cool. The actual viz stays in the tube in case you need it. That's good to know because we could try enchanting something here, and I think it would, I think it would actually work. All right, well, I think that's probably a good stopping point. This, the whole point of this episode really was just to get this going. I mean, it ended up being to get this going to where we actually have some viz being collected. I'll figure out a clever way. I mean, I can reconfigure this. This isn't necessary to be here. I just thought it was kind of cool. Um, maybe what I'll do is turn this whole thing into a viz tank over time. I don't know if you can place them next to each other like that, but it would be cool if I could just, like, line this whole thing. That could become a viz tank and just kind of be able to look in there, that might be cool. Um, I could also just go up one more, chop this off, and then have that be the output. I think there's a lot of different things we can do. There's valve pipes and stuff, viz valve pipes, and let's see. Conduit. Let's see. No, those are conductive pipes. I thought there was like a valve viz pipe or something like that. Anyway, there's there's a lot of things that we still have at our disposal. I think we can figure it out. But this was just a, hopefully, to get this going. Now, I think this is an output, and I think this will actually work. It's pretty slow. You can see that the crystal is being used. And I think it, it also has something to do with the, the environment you're in, or whether or not you'll actually get any viz. Or, but I haven't seen a drop of it go through there yet, so... Um, when we get here next time, you will either see a bunch of viz in this tank, or I will have had to, to do something different because it wasn't working properly. So anyway, I will, uh, I wonder if it's possible to just run this, for it basically to run both ways. If I was to come just like, out of this right here, like that. I wonder if that would work. Basically run it over there, and then it'll come out of there into there if you need it. And then I can run up the ceiling and over. To other devices can have it anyway i'm totally rambling i'm wasting your time if you enjoyed it uh give me a thumbs up um i will get back to my normal quality i hope next time i'll be better with the mic this i, I know everything was just flaky so anyway um, thumbs up if you liked it tell your friends leave me comments please i respond to all of them and i, I read all of them and i really appreciate you watching i'll talk to you next time